All right, everyone, yesterday there was breaking news that George Soros had endorsed Elizabeth Warren. It turned out he, he fell short of an endorsement. He just said, well, I like her the most. I think she's the most electable. By the way, I think this Trump thing will blow over. Didn't he predict like last time around that Hillary Clinton would win? Huh, sucks to be him, I suppose. I think he'll be wrong a second time here. Uh, it's funny to me that people on the left, they take Elizabeth Warren seriously. They think that she's one of them. Uh, that she's also a leftist. And yet they're wrong. If you look back at her record, she's a neoliberal who's pretending to be a progressive. George Soros, therefore, is either ignorant enough to have been hoodwinked by her, which I don't believe for a minute. He's a, a corporate hawk, a multi-billionaire. He's not a dumb dude. Or he's in on the joke, so to speak, and, you know, is lending his weight to her in the unironic sense. And he's fully aware of that because he's a neoliberal too. He doesn't want to pay socialist taxes. I think that's probably why. Um, it's funny to see leftists, though, circle the wagons around someone like Elizabeth Warren when there are so many warning signs that she's being inauthentic. She has taken Bernie Sanders' platform. A, B, C, D. These are what Bernie stands for. Okay, I'm copying them in a notepad file. Here's my platform. Except I can't explain how to pay for Medicaid for all or Medicare for all, whichever one. Uh, because Bernie tried and it basically means higher taxes for everyone. I'm not stepping on that landmine. I'll just neglect to tell everybody how I'm going to pay for it. Oh, I'll just cut, like, the military budget. That's a good Democratic talking point, right, guys? <laughs> the anniversary. Uh, Baghdadi gets whacked, and uh, that'll probably be her next move because she's incompetent. By the way, can I just say something? If Soros and the other, you know, dem elites, which is basically what he is, he's a, he's a globalistic far-left individual when it comes to things. He's an authoritarian. He's partnered up with other people, including the Koch brothers, to try to censor the Internet to prevent 2016 from ever happening again. If these people believe that Elizabeth Warren is truly the best that the Democrats have, they probably should try to get Hillary Clinton or somebody else to run. Or Michelle Obama, give her a billion uh, bucks. Bribe her. Bribe Michelle Obama to run. She has no experience, but she looks decent enough for the cameras and gives people just enough Obama nostalgia that at the very least, it would be a legitimate campaign. You could do what the neocons do. You could lose gracefully. You could do, you could do what Hillary Clinton didn't do, which is lose gracefully. Hillary Clinton... Her running again would arguably be more viable. She'd probably be able to out-debate Elizabeth Warren. It's basically the same thing anyway. They, 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 I think they're exactly the same age, or Warren's like a year younger. They look similar. They dress similar. They're doing similar things in regards to their strategy. It's almost like Elizabeth Warren said, well, Clinton's getting in, so I'm out. I'm going to wait and see what she does, tweak it a little bit, and do it the next time around, and I'll win. But I predicted Elizabeth Warren would be running in this election back in 2015 because it was so obvious. The fact that she so visibly sat it out, got in early as far as being sort of a surrogate, you know, backing Clinton, and, and but also waffling. She didn't, she didn't endorse at first. She's like, well, I like Bernie. I also like Clinton. I love these guys. We're all in this together. She was very, very friendly, very conciliatory, and waited and waited until it was obvious Clinton had it. Then she endorses pretty late on. She did that for strategic reasons. She didn't want to piss the Bernie bros off. She also didn't want to piss off corporate Hillary. I bet she called Hillary up fairly early on and said, look, everyone knows you're going to win anyway, but let me hold off on my endorsement because next time around, I'm going to be the one running. After your, after your second term, of course, Madam Hillary. By the way, I'll buy you some celebratory $100 a bottle Chardonnay. I'm sure that you'll guzzle that on election night. Oh, she did. She guzzled it so much that she couldn't come out and give her concession speech until the next morning. And all the, oh, the pancake makeup they smeared on her. <laughs> it was so obvious when put fucking Podosta there comes out and says, well, oh, I'm sorry, this isn't over, so we're not going to give the announcement tonight. We're going to wait until tomorrow. And the, the fact that he came out instead of her and everyone, like, all confused and going home in order their motels. A lot of those people, probably they were only there for the night. They, like, traveled in from fucking New York or something, uh, and they were there for the night at Hillary Clinton HQ, and they knew that it was over, basically, but some of them had to catch a flight in the morning. Oh, can you imagine? It must have been sad. I feel sorry for some of those people, but not for Hillary Clinton. When George Soros, a multi-multi-billionaire who made his money off being a corporate hawk, despite all the so-called activism and humanism he engages in now, which is bullshit anyway... When somebody like that endorses an individual and says they're electable, I like them, I think they're the one, doesn't this give pause to the little person $15 an hour burger flipping far leftist? Don't you feel like that's a little bit of a conflict of interest when someone that dichotomously opposite you supports the same person for basically different reasons? 
electability in that case. Some of Elizabeth Warren's fans don't care because she's got the right genitals and that's all that matters to them. I think a good half of her fans are literally nothing more than third waivers. Not really feministic, but you know, the Yas Queen slave side of things. We can do it better than any man can. We're gonna show you and have the first female president. We're gonna lock you in your chastity belts, you cucks. That's what some of them I think fantasize about. It's some fucking weird shit, dude. George Soros isn't the worst, but he's one of the worst. It's funny because they keep trying to claim that criticism of George Soros is anti-Semitic. Uh, meanwhile, the nation of Israel criticizes him constantly. It's funny to see how Netanyahu is also a Nazi. Like, I don't even like Netanyahu, but it's pretty funny to see him and Soros and, and those two sort of poles of Judaism spar. Like the globalistic side and the side that says, hey, you know, nationalism or well, Zionism in the more pan-regional sense. Uh, it's very funny to see them spar. George Soros, of course, gladly helping to hand Jews over to the Gestapo back in the day, but somehow it's anti-Semitic to criticize him. No, he's a wonderful man. He's such a fucking wonderful dude. How did he get all of his billions of dollars? You think he did it honestly? Nobody gets that much money, honestly. They can become a millionaire, honestly. S sweat of the brow, work hard, invested really well. Okay, you can become a millionaire that way. I'm sorry, but you can't get that kind of empire in an honest fashion. You, back you stabbed people in the back and stole from them, basically. That includes, by the way, Donald Trump. Only he brags about it. He's honest about the fact that he gamed the system. George Soros pretends like he was always some sort of uh, act. He's like a little archangel. He's got a glowing halo above his head. Oh, I'm so holy, you know, look up to me. I want to legalize weed like all the cool kids do. Hey, hey, guys, I'm 90 years old, but I'm just like you. I can remember when George Soros circulars actually were like, uh, for ending the drug war, especially with marijuana, were circulated around UVM when I was in college. Fuck, that was, uh, what, what year that? It was like 2008 or something like that. I can remember there were actual like brochures. At the time, like, you know, <laughs> college liberal as I was, I'm like, oh, this sounds all right. Then I, of course, realized who Soros was in totality. I'm like, uh, that's a little bit more skeevy there. Just another fucking multicultural globalist that wants to erase the people of the world in order to steal more money more effortlessly from them. That's basically what he believes in. If you call that uh, tolerance and diversity, then I think that all hope is lost for your mind. That's about all. Peace out.